Daily Prayer Monday, May 17, 2021 Monday of 7th week of Easter Daily Prayer Monday, May 17, 2021 Monday of 7th week of Easter The Holy Gospel according to St. John The disciples said to him Now you are speaking plainly and not in varied language Now we see that you know all things Even before we question you Because of this we believe that you came from God Jesus answered them, You say that you believe? The hour is coming. Indeed, it has come when you will be scattered, each one to his home. And you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have told you all of this so that in me you may have a peace. You will have trouble in the world, but courage, I have overcome the world. The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to be strengthened and add by the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life. The life of a Christian is not always easy. Sometimes we think we have these faith ideas down pat, but then we are challenged. The challenge may be when we think we have it all together, but we still fail to be aware of what it really means to be a believer because we have not let the Holy Spirit fully come upon us at other times you may be tempted to turn our back on jesus and other believers and run away by ourselves no matter what god is always willing to be there for us in the gospel continuation of the last supper discourse, Jesus deals with his disciples who think they have a handle on the whole issues of faith. They think they know it all. Jesus questioned them, Do you really believe? He predicts that due to his arrest, trial, and execution, they will all run away and be scattered. Jesus, however, does not fear because he knows he is one with his Abba Father. Jesus also reassures his disciples that even though they will eventually have to be martyrs, Jesus has ultimately won the victory for them. The readings today challenged me to look more closely at my own faith. I realized that I have not always allowed the Holy Spirit to fully work in my life. I have often thought, now I have it. Now I know what it all means. It is then that something comes my way, which shows that I don't have it all together. It may be someone challenging me about an aspect of my faith. It may be when something does not go the way I expect. I start to doubt. I wonder about my relationship with God. I question the presence of the Holy Spirit in my life. 
Jesus never promised that being his disciple would be easy. There are movements in the world that make it difficult to be a believer. Sometimes we question or doubt. We are tempted to presume we have a firm grasp of what it means to believe and therefore think we do not need any further guidance from the Holy Spirit. Or we may be tempted to say, Oh, this is too much for me. I give up. I received emails during the worst days of the pandemic, and people question how a loving and mercy God could allow such a virus to attack the world. What I should do is, once again, come to the master teacher and sit at his feet. I need to listen to his every word, anxiously straining to take in everything he says. I need to pray for the continued outpouring of the Holy Spirit. My pray, not just in this week before Pentecost, but every day, every day, must be, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. It is only when I am moved by the Holy Spirit that I start to put things back in perspective. It is only when I actively use the gifts and fruit which flow from the Holy Spirit, wisdom, understanding, discernment, patience, joy, peace, or reverence, endurance in the face of suffering that I start to have the courage to face whatever comes my way. For I will experience that Jesus has overcome everything that the world throws at me. No, it is not always easy to be a faithful disciple. Not easy. We are challenged throughout our journey. We lack the full understanding of the ways of God. Jesus knew that would happen. He predicted it. Yet, He also knew what would that get us through the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, the Advocate. Let us continue to turn to our Abba who happens to be God, and to our master teacher and ask for the continued gift of the Holy Spirit today, tomorrow, on Pentecost, and throughout our life. The personal question or action for today, how often do I consciously turn to Holy Spirit and seek the fruit and gifts which flow from the Spirit's presence in my life. Which gift or fruit of the Holy Spirit do I need the most at this time in my life? Wisdom, understanding, right judgment, courage, knowledge, reverence, wonder and awe, love, joy, Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, humility, or self-control. How can I manifest and give witness today that I have received the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit is active in my life? What can I do? to help bolster the faith of others and reassure them of the Holy Spirit's action in their lives. 
Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, all wise and all knowing. Through your goodness, you desire that we come to a further understanding of you and your relationship with us in and through your Son, Jesus. By the working of the Holy Spirit, it is with the confidence that Jesus gave us that we can pray, send us Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence, the spirit of wonder and all in your presence. We ask that we may be given all the harvest that flows from the Holy Spirit, Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We ask that as our master teacher has taught us, and as he has promised us the presence of the Paraclete, the Holy Spirit, you may take what we have learned and leave it, share it, and teach it to others so that we may all be inspired and enthusiastic as we seek to follow the Lord Jesus on our journey back to you, our Abba Father, who happens to be God. We make this pray in the name of the same Lord Jesus, your Son, our Master, Teacher, our Savior, who is living and reigning with you, and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Chúa xót thương, mênh mông như trời nắng hồng, xua tan tiếng trời ra đông. Lòng Chúa xót thương.